morning so i've decided i'm gonna vlog today and maybe some bits this week i might do some favorites so i was thinking of filming a favorites video this week because i've got a few things that i've really loved but i don't know if a favorites might be a bit boring so i might tie it in with this and a few bits that i've got on today currently i'm trying to get myself out of a bad mood because I've just had one of those weeks so far where, you know, like nothing goes right and it's not even that bad and I really need to sort of get over it and just move on. But, you know, when you just have a few fudge ups and things aren't quite going how you want. I'm not usually someone that like lets this kind of thing get to me. But I think when you work at home and you're on your own all day, you kind of only have your own little internal thoughts to keep you company. And sometimes, other than Coco, um, I can get a little bit lonely and you start beating yourself up about things that aren't really worth beating yourself up about. I know that I'm like really privileged and I'm super lucky to have such a lovely job but I think like anyone you just have days where you want to be like oh f off to everything. I don't want to do it anymore. I just want to go live on a beach and have no responsibilities. Like I'm just not not feeling adultiness this week. I thought I might vlog and that might take my mind off things a little bit. I'm gonna go give Coco a cuddle. I'm gonna sort out this room. I've got a nice little video to film today, which should be fun. I've also got some parcels to pick up, so I'm gonna go get those and yeah, I better get on. I do a lot of filming making my bed. Like I feel like I've filmed making my bed so many times, but I just think once my bed's made, it's a start for me feeling like my life is actually in order, even when it's probably not. <laughs> loads of like spring pieces i think it's going to be like my first sort of spring outfit video oh i like that i nearly bought one like that from top shop it was like thick but i'm excited to do this because it's a brand i've not worked with before which is always nice and their stuff is really beautiful everything wants steam in there <laughs> Bug. this is what i actually spend most of my life doing like as fab as it looks doing all these lovely videos which they are they are lovely to do and it's really nice but this is what i spend most of my time doing like the longest bit is sorting everything out like the clothes but i have far worse jobs obviously but i just want to get on and film oh my gosh they're quite short they're going to be so cute for some of them Okay, this is making me feel a chirpier person. <gasps> How cute is that? We have new hangers. These are Primark. I'm gonna hang all these up and then I'm gonna go collect the parcels. I've got a picture that I need to take as well from the hotel. But I'm gonna do that, go get my parcels in the hope that some of the creases might just drop out and I won't have to iron everything. I don't even iron, to be fair. All I do is use the little steamer. I haven't ironed since I moved out of my mum's. <clears throat> this skirt is dreamy. How nice that is. in one place just because otherwise they get lost and I'm like where the hell is that parcel don't know which dress to take pictures in they're all super cute I love motel dresses but what with I could do with like a white mesh top but I have not got one of those I just think the fit is really good on motel just if you like 
a sort of short fit, which I tend to do, otherwise my legs look really short. Um, they're lovely. Maybe this one, I think it's either of the checked ones. <laughs> That's my motel picture done. I can't wait to wear this dress, like I love it. And this, when I didn't have it on, didn't really look like much. I just sort of like the check, but this will be so nice in summer. Um, I would wear it probably with like some chunky boots, I think. But I love it with a little top too. All right, I'm back in my previous outfit. The jumper, by the way, is from Motel. It's like the coziest thing ever. I love it. So I've just got that on and then my Levi jeans and my Vans and my YSL bag. So I'm going to go get these parcels. Um, it's not an exciting job but I've got to go there and get them. I might also take some rubbish to say no because it's pancake day today. So I want to go and get like just one of those squeezy bottle pancake mixtures just for ease. I'm back from a little... Erin's trip. Oh, this is handy. Got my prints. So I'll show you those. Oh, oh no, that is that right? In my head, this was a pink background, but I think I've just imagined that. Um, I know this one was pink, so this is more and more pour favor. And then this is just the two roses, which is lovely actually. And also, when I popped into Sainsbury's to get our pancake stuff, I picked up this, which was on offer obviously because we are three months in. It's a little like monthly calendar, so I'm gonna get to March, but I just thought that'd be nice in my office. Good afternoon. I have perked up a lot more this afternoon. <laughs> I've done all the jobs that I needed to do and I feel like I've been quite productive, so I don't feel too hard on myself now for like not being good at my job and da da da. I feel a little bit better about it. Plus, I've been listening to some podcasts, so I always put a podcast on in an afternoon if I'm editing because I like to have like something on background noise and it's nice to have things to like laugh to and giggle to. Otherwise, when you work on your own, you just spend a lot of the day like doing work and you don't have that like nice little bit of the social side. I miss that bit. Um, so I think I was just having a day where I was missing sort of nice office banter and little bits that get you through when you're not having a good day but i feel good now and i'm gonna go to the gym because that always makes me feel better anyway i like to just go and have a walk i'm gonna do my pancakes for tea so gym and then pancakes but i'm not bothered it'll be nice <laughs> after now i've been doing some work this morning and i've also got my nails done so i went for like a little purpley palm of violet sort of color i just thought that was nice and spring like but i also did that i faked on my face last night and you know when you just think oh, it'll be all right like it's not that strong but i thought i would show you some little favorites because i kind of planned on incorporating these in this video they're mostly beauty things but there might be a couple of other things that I remember along the way that I want to tell you about. And then we'll finish things up for the week. Oh, look. We're not even matching. Why are they so orange? My face isn't that orange. Anyway, quickly onto these favourites. I'm going to whiz through them because I don't want it to be too long. This one, this shampoo. So this is the Brass Off by Matrix. My hairdresser recommended this to me and... Since I've been using it more, because I used it a little bit at first and then sort of forgot about it, but since I've been using it more, I've been getting more compliments on my hair, like people are like, oh your hair's a really nice colour. So this gets rid of the yellowness, it's definitely one of the strongest I've used and on my extensions I can probably leave it on for like a minute and then on here for ages because my natural hair does not take as well. Definitely one of the best that I've used, so that's the shampoo that I've got there. Next is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. I talked about getting this the other week and quite a few people sent messages like, oh, it turns your brows green and stuff. I haven't personally found that it does that. Maybe a little bit orangey, but not too bad. My friend who does brows like for a living, um, she said that if you use fake tan with stuff like this, sometimes it reacts like with the product and that might be why you end up with like a discolored brow. So I try not to use fake tan when I'm using it, but I think it's so good, like it's really good. And if you can't be asked to do your brows, or if like me, you've got like microbladed brows, but just want a little bit more definition when you've got makeup on, then 
this is really good. Next couple of things makeup wise are from Milk. So these were kindly sent to me. This is the Lip and Cheek Stain in Work. And then I've got the Watermelon Brightening Serum. So I don't know if some of you will have seen that I got this in New York. So I bought like a mini sized one, which I loved. But the big one is definitely better just because it feels so nice, like rubbing it all over your face. I think it feels a bit like, you know, when you use a jade roller, which I love, but I don't really know what it does. It just feels nice. It feels like that, but with product. So I can't wait to use it in the summer. I think it's going to be so good. And then the lip and cheek one looks like this. Again, it's like that chubby sort of stick thing, which I love. I just think that's like appealing. I don't know why. It's just nice sort of packaging. I love this. I think it's really like buildable and it's a nice, it does like look like a flush rather than like a, oh, you've got blush on. So I use like a makeup brush just so it's like, a little bit of a lighter covering. Um, I would love it in a more like nudie colour. So this is quite pink. And I tend to go for more like a nudie bronze. But I do love it. I just want them to do more colours. I've not used it on my lips. I need a more precise thing. Like unless you're like one of these glossier slash milk kind of model people that look amazing with very minimal makeup. Then it just, no, I need bit more than that <laughs> the next things look disgusting because they've been in the shower but it's more a general one i'm just going to put them down out of the way i've started buying a few more lush bits again because i've used lush products and i never feel like lush is a treat i know that sounds bad but i feel like even though lush has tried to make the process like super friendly and great for me the process of going to shop in lush is not pleasurable <laughs> i go in get what i want and i leave because i'm like do not speak to me i'm sorry <laughs> the lovely people i know they have to be like that but i'm just like oh please leave me alone but we did go to one in leeds and they were really lovely um so they weren't too pushy even though i find it a little bit stressful going i always like the products and there's not really much i've had from lush and being like that crap i've always ended up buying things and really loved them so one that I went back for was the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. I feel like I've included it in a vlog. But that's one of the things I went back for. I love the smell. I'm not going to talk about it too much because so I feel like I've mentioned it before. But the other two that I will mention in their disgusting form now because I've been using them are this is Buffet and then this one is another body oil scrub thing. So I'll pop that below. Buffet I love. It's so good. It makes your bathroom smell amazing. It makes you smell amazing. My boyfriend keeps stealing it and every time he comes out of the shower I'm like, you've been using my buffy thing haven't you again. So good for getting off fake tan and just for like, there's nothing that makes my skin feel smooth out of the shower other than stuff like this. So I love this one too but it disappears very quick. Probably because my boyfriend keeps bloody stealing it. So they were just a few little things that I thought I'd pop in because it seemed daft getting them in another video. The next thing I'm going to quickly mention because it was a little, I know I bought my bag and I was like, this is it, but it's, it's addictive buying like nice things. But I did see this and think, well, it kind of makes sense for me to have a nice belt. It is a special one. Um, so that's what it looks like. Da -da -da. It's just a little YSL one. My belt has seen me through a lot. That crappy little belt from H&M that's almost dead I see me through a lot of pictures so I felt like a belt was appropriate it wasn't cheap but I'm feeling a bit more like I'd rather buy the odd special bit than like 20 bits of rubbish but look how nice it is I just think it's a bit of a change from the Gucci one which I love and I will be honest and say that I had a Gucci one ages ago and it was fake it's not real <laughs> I got it off like a wholesale website and I'm sure in detail you can tell it's fake. But for one, the Gucci one was sold out everywhere anyway. So it went like I was going to be getting old of it. I think it's still like a very classic piece. And in like 20 years time, you probably still wear it. But I just think this is a little bit more understated maybe. Like it's not quite as out there. But it is still YSL. I'm not quite at the stage yet with designer bits where I can have something that doesn't say what designer it is. Because... I ain't got that many things, so if I'm buying it, I want it to like be known. <laughs> I'm going to finish off the whole video here because otherwise there's going to be too much for me to edit. I can't do long videos. It takes me about six months, so I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. And yeah, I will pop links to everything below for you like normal, and I will see you all soon. <laughs>